I'm Carrie at the Reading and Language Arts Centers, and I'm going to show you a quick and simple activity you can do for students who are struggling with short vowel sounds. So this is layer one of the Phonics First Foundations program. And specifically today we're going to work with the short O, A sound and the short U, A sound. So we have our cup and our box, and we're going to use a bunch of small objects. I'm using buttons today, but you can use pennies, you can use beans, beads, you know, any small um, objects like that, little candies. So what you're going to do is have the students take their cup and their box and tell you what sound O says in box, it says A, ah. what sound U says in cup, it says A, ah. and then tell them every time they hear an A ah sound to put a button in the cup, every time they hear an A ah sound, put a button in that box. So, we can read off a list of words. So we can say, mop, button goes in the box. Stop, button goes in the box. Shrug, button goes in the cup. Okay, now to make it a little more difficult, we can read off full sentences. We can say, do not drop your gum on the rug. So you can do this a few times and then see if the students have the correct number of buttons in their box and their cup. So it's a fun little game. And to make it even more difficult, you can read a whole story and have them put a button in the box every time they hear an ah word and a button in the cup every time they hear an ah word and then at the end of the whole story see if they have the correct number in there. Um, another variation on this is to have them take little pictures of ah and uh words. So for example, clock and sun, and they're going to put the pictures in the correct container. So for ah words like clock, they put the picture in the box, and for uh words like sun, they go ahead and put that picture in the cup. And that's a quick and simple activity to teach students who are having a hard time distinguishing between that short O and short U sound.